There's only one way to describe Branson, Missouri. It's good, clean fun. Something the whole family can enjoy together. And the only way to really understand what's happening in the small Ozark town is to see it for yourself. Located 200 miles south of Kansas City, Branson sits along the Missouri-Arkansas border. Its central location makes it a perfect vacation spot, whether you're spending a week or just the weekend. I want to wake up Each year, five million tourists make their way to Branson. That brings an additional one and a half billion dollars to Branson's annual economy. Most of it is generated by the town's 27 music theaters. Big name stars like Andy Williams, Barbara Mandrell, and Roy Clark entertain thousands each year. When you think about it, it's hard to believe that Branson was once a minor tourist spot, maybe bringing in only a few thousand folks annually. In the late 1950s, a series of dams built in the area made Branson a perfect place for water recreation. Fishing, boating, anything you'd like. And to complement the outdoor fun, Branson's nightlife needed a little pickup. In 1959, the Bald Knobbers Hillbilly Jamboree show opened. Four brothers started the band, and they've been going strong ever since. It was the Bald Knobbers Hillbilly Jamboree which got Branson going in the right direction. In 1968, the band was getting so popular, they needed more room, a bigger place to entertain. Along the way somehow, word got to Nashville that little Branson, Missouri was attracting some pretty good crowds. When the Nashville entertainers decided to lend their name to Branson Music Theaters, the popularity of Branson exploded. It's often been said that Nashville, Tennessee is the true home of country music, but if so, Branson, Missouri has got to be country music's getaway, a place where performers can go and loosen their belt just a little bit and have a great time. that stars perform in are much like mansions. High vaulted ceilings, huge white columns. The sunshine breaks through the glass and makes everything sparkle. You'd think you were in a palace. Many of the music theaters have their own museums full of exhibits. Go ahead, take a look. Another museum you'll have to see is Boxcar Willie's Railroad Museum. Trains galore. And all the big name stars are out on the strip. Ray Stevens, Anita Bryant, Jerry Reed.
One of the true wonders of Branson is the Grand Palace. Owned in part by music great Kenny Rogers, the palace stands out like nothing else. And once you're inside, you'll see it's full of shops. How about the Hard Luck Diner? You'll have to try it out. And Miss Maggie's has the reputation as a favorite to Branson visitors. Plan to take your time in the palace. It's perfect for a late afternoon stroll. Daytime is also a busy time on the Branson Strip. Traffic is usually bumper to bumper. In fact, there's so much to do, it's hard to name everything. Mickey Gilly, Mo Bandy, and above all, the hospitality of the people here in Branson has made it all worthwhile. A longtime favorite in Branson is the Pump Boys and Dinettes production. It's a taste of New York Broadway style entertainment. It's so much fun, you usually find the audience clapping and singing along. From the opening act to the grand finale, the Pump Boys and Dinettes show is a sure hit. I think what is great about Branson is it's the diversity of the entertainment that's here. Not only can you see uh, country music now, uh, you can see a Broadway musical like we have here at Pump Boys and Dinettes. So you can see someone like uh, uh, John Davidson, who's really, you know, not a real country singer, but what he's doing down here is great and funny and wonderful. So and Bobby Vinton, and then you've got Ray Stevens. You've got such a huge, um, a huge uh, diversity thing happening here that it's. Um, that I think that's what's making people come, want to come to Branson. And also, first and foremost, I think, the beauty of the area. And even though the crowds keep pouring into Branson, don't worry about a place to stay. The town has plenty of lodging. Some of the local favorites include the Southern Oaks and the Magnolia Inn. You may have to plan a bit ahead, but getting a room in Branson should be no problem at all. If you'd like to get away from it all for a while, Branson offers that option too. Just head for the Shepherd of the Hills Inspiration Tower. It's just a short drive off the main strip, and once you're high up, you can see all of Branson and a few other places. You're not going to find too many locations more peaceful than this. It's the perfect spot to just sit and think. But with all the entertainment calling back on the strip, chances are you'll want to get back and check out more of the shows. After all, where else can you get so close to the stars? The great thing about Branson music is that one minute you see them on stage performing, the next they're right down with the fans talking and mingling, and autographs are no problem. It's all smiles and good times in Branson. If you're the outdoor type, bring on the RV or church bus. Branson is a great getaway spot for senior citizens, church groups, and of course the family. Plenty of parking, whatever you may be driving. Spring, summer, fall, the camping is always great in Branson with all the modern conveniences. And there's plenty of space out here. But it always seems it's the music in Branson that keeps calling you back.
if you didn't know otherwise, you'd think maybe you were in Las Vegas. The shows are just as exciting. Start your Branson morning in Mutton Hollow. There's an exciting new breakfast show. The entertainment park and craft village is visited by millions each year. Off the beaten path on West Highway 76 at the Shepherd of the Hills Expressway, Mutton Hollow stays in the same Branson flavor by bringing you good, clean family fun. There are over 40 acres of fun with more than 40 shows in five theaters. At Mutton Hollow, you can have everything from funnel cakes to Ferris wheels, clogging to country music. Tom and Janie lead the way each morning. So if you like country music, it's of course here at Mutton Hollow. There's also bluegrass, comedy, and plenty of dancing. Whatever you're in the mood for. Hey, I heard some important people going to that place. Hey, the big people come in there, boy. That's right. I'm telling you. Hey, Bill and Hillary Clinton come in. You're kidding me. I ain't kidding you, and I got to wait on them. Well, man, that's neat there, Pete. Yeah, I was on the way to there. Somebody had to do it. <laughs> How about some good old-fashioned piano playing? It's all here at Mutton Holla. If that's not enough, enjoy unique shopping in over 30 crafts and specialty shops. Check out the wood mill and carving exhibit. You can watch as skilled craftsmen demonstrate their talents. It's all done just as it was some 100 years ago. They'll be glad to show and tell you all about it. And at Mutton Hollow, you have to check out the shopping possibilities. Amanda's Country Store has the area's largest selection of handcrafted quilts. Mother's and Mine is known for its top-notch glasswares and elegant keepsakes. If you like trains, Mutton Hollow has it all, a train collector's dream come true. For dining, well, the choices are almost endless. You won't know where to start with all that food. And after your meal, check out the county fair. It's in town every day in Mutton Hollow. And it's a chance for you to become a kid again. The beautifully restored carousel is great for the young and the old. You can also take in the early dinner show. It's a perfect musical appetizer before heading on to the other shows out on the main strip. And if you're lucky, you may catch an autograph from your favorite star. Mutton Hollow has long been a favorite in Branson. It helps make Branson the perfect entertainment spot it's come to be. The bald 
Knobber's Hillbilly Jamboree has been on stage for more than three decades now. It carries the distinction of being Branson's first show, and that's certainly a title worth bragging about. Three generations of Bald Knobbers have played before several million fans. And it all started with just four brothers. You'll hear the latest country hits, the old favorites, Mountain Country, and don't forget about the comedy. It's what Branson is all about. If you come to Branson, you'll have to see the Bald Knobbers Hillbilly Jamboree. No trip to Branson, Missouri is complete without seeing this show. Each Christmas, the Tri Lakes area is decorated top to bottom with lights galore. Described as one of the most magnificent lighting displays in the entire Midwest, the festival brings in crowds from several hundreds of miles. If you're not in the Christmas spirit when you get to Branson, Missouri, no doubt that will change after seeing the Festival of Lights. Some 285 stars line the Branson streets, and there's one star that's 48 feet tall standing near US 65. The huge glittering star symbolizes the many stars who visit Branson each year. Many visitors capture the magic and splendor driving their way through the decorations, and some prefer the view from up top. Either way, you can't beat it. And what would a Branson Christmas be without a huge, magnificent Christmas tree? How about this one? Everything in Branson gets decked out in some form or fashion at Christmas. The clock tower, the downtown water fountain. If it can be decorated, it is. Some of the other displays include a nativity scene, a large American flag, the Statue of Liberty, a running deer, a 40-foot long train, eight-foot tall soldiers, and how about a drive through Snowflake Tunnel? Christmas in Branson also offers miles and miles of Yuletide crafts. Visit the Engler Block with 30 shops and galleries. Each community in and around Branson offers some sort of special show at Christmas. Northeast of Branson, Rockaway Beach has a parade and Christmas countdown crafts fair. Shepherd of the Hills features a traditional country Christmas. And the Branson Trolley offers a Christmas lights tour. Sit back and watch Christmas right before your eyes. The Christmas spirit takes on a whole new look in the Ozarks. See for yourself. You can have a great time any time of the year in Branson, but if Christmas is your favorite time, make plans now. Not all of the stars in Branson are up on stage. Each year, the Branson Christmas Parade makes its way through downtown. Branson's many talented high school bands play your favorite Christmas songs. And of course, what would a parade be without colorful floats? This parade is just one example of how proud local citizens are of their small Missouri town. Each year, they line the streets to watch Christmas right before their eyes. 
Branson spirit really shines this time of year. The hometown folks make sure that Branson feels like a second home to you. The annual Christmas parade in Branson is as big a part of the Branson tradition as anything else. Now you've seen all the great things there are to do in Branson, Missouri, but we haven't really talked about one of its greatest assets, Branson's location. Located in south central Missouri, just a few miles from the Arkansas border, Branson can be reached in just a few hours from a host of major cities. Kansas City is just 200 miles to the north. Little Rock, Arkansas is even closer. And from Memphis, Tennessee, you can get there in about five hours. St. Louis is about four hours to the east. Interstate 44 runs due north of Branson. From there, Highway 65 South takes you right up to Branson's back door. Branson, Missouri only catered to the country music fan, you can now see that there's much, much more going on here. The first thing you'll notice is the majestic beauty of the Ozarks. You'll enjoy just driving here. You can't really describe it. You'll have to see and hear it for yourself. The view of Table Rock Lake and Dam are hard to beat. Bull Shoals Lake is also nearby. It's a true Ozark wonder. Where else could you find water this blue? So if you're thinking of coming to Branson, don't forget your fishing gear. You could start the day maybe trout fishing. You're guaranteed to reel one in. Try your luck from the shore or by boat. Now if your plans call for the indoors, try out the hundreds of craft displays. You could spend hours watching these guys. And after dinner in one of Branson's many wonderful restaurants, you'll be ready to hit the action, the exciting Branson Strip out on Highway 76. There's dozens of places to go, so you may want to stay at least a few days. Branson is certainly a town on the move, but not too fast. You can still sit back, relax with the family, and share a great time. After all, that's what life is all about, especially in Branson, Missouri.